In this video, we're going to learn how to design this 3D printable drip shell from start to finish. This is a fun and simple design that honestly anyone can create, takes less than 15 minutes to design and roughly around an hour to 3D print on your 3D printer. I went ahead and printed this with my X1 Carbon. I think this is a pretty cool 3D print that anyone can design. So with that said, I'm going to walk you through on exactly how to design it and 3D print it. So let's jump into our software and get started. Okay, so to get started with this design, let's go ahead and open up a blank new canvas inside Fusion 360. From here, let's go ahead and click on create, create sketch. Then let's select the bottom plane here. From here, what we want to do is click on create rectangle, then select center rectangle. From the origin, we're going to go ahead and drag this out, which allows us to draw the rectangle. And with the values here, I can press tab on my keyboard to alternate between the two. I'm going to set the right value here to 76. And I'm going to set the top to 120. This gives us around 4 inches by 3 inches tall. From here, let's go ahead and select this profile. Press E. And drag this up to, let's just say, 5 millimeters. Press OK. With that complete, the next thing we need to do here is to import an image, which we're basically going to be using as a reference to draw out the drips on our shelf here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my sketch as we'll no longer need it. Then click on the canvas icon here on the top right hand side. Go ahead and find the file as listed down below in the description. So if you'd like to follow along and use the exact image, feel free to do so. Once I have my image selected, I'm going to select the front face here on the side of my shelf. And then reorient this to the front. And I'm going to go ahead and scale this up to kind of match my design. I'm also going to move this down. And that looks good to me. Once I'm happy with my layout, I'll press OK. And now from here, the first thing we need to do here is to create a sketch. Now, the sketch that we're going to be creating is not the typical sketch that you would make with Infusion. We're going to be using the control point spline tool, which allows us to basically map out our dots that follow along the path here. So to get started, let's go ahead and click on create sketch, select the side face here. Then I want to start some sort of starting point. So I'm going to press L on my keyboard from the top to the bottom here. I'm going to go ahead and select the checkbox here. Then I'm going to use the search feature with Infusion, type in S, type in control, and type in control point spline. Now with that selected, I'm going to select the last dot as shown here and just start mapping my sketch or my spline around each curve of the water here. And this is gonna take a minute and don't worry if it's not perfect right out the gate. What we're gonna do right now is just sketch out the overall look and we're gonna use the dots as shown on screen to kind of map it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and sketch this out and come right back once I'm done. Okay, so here I have my design. I went ahead and sketched along the path of each and every single curve we have here. And with these black dots as shown on screen, we can actually move them and reorient them in any way we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make some changes here just by moving these dots and kind of matching it along the path here. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be perfect. So just try to be as close as you can. What we're really looking for is this like organic sort of waterfall or water dripping effect. And feel free to take as much time as you need for this. So once I finish mapping each every each and every single dot out here, I'm going to go ahead and come right back and show you the final result. Okay, so here I have my design fully sketched out. I've listed and put all the black dots as where I think it would work the best. It's not perfect, but I think it's pretty close. Once I'm happy with my sketch, I'm gonna select the profile, press E, and I'm gonna drag this in to let's just say negative 2.5. Press join. Now, if we turn off our canvas and turn off our sketches, now we have this drip-like effect on this shelf that we have here. 
Additionally, I would probably extrude this a little bit more, maybe instead of a 2.5, maybe a negative 3.5. That way it's a little bit thicker, even more so since we're gonna be 3D printing this and I'm gonna be printing this with this sitting flat on the build plate. We also wanna make sure that this is kind of going up and not having a thin wall here, which could possibly lead to some issues when printing. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this to my slicer by right-clicking on body one, save as mesh, press okay. Now with my model inside my slicer, I'm gonna go ahead and reorient this, change the color, and just reroute everything here. And then change the color of my design here. I'm gonna go ahead and print this in matte red. And if I were to slice this, it's gonna take me about an hour and 25 minutes to print with only 30 grams, around 31 grams of filament. And I am printing this with a 0.12 layer height, which honestly gives me more detail, but you could change this to a 0.2, which would increase the print time, but would be at a lower quality. You can see our print time has now adjusted to one hour and two minutes. So I'll go ahead and print this out and show you guys the final result. So with that said, that pretty much wraps up today's video. By now, you should have fully modeled and designed this 3D printable drip shell from start to finish. This is a fun and simple design, and truthfully, you can repurpose this in whatever shape you want. I went ahead and added this to my Bamboo Labs X1 and kind of have it hanging on the side. And honestly, I think it gives it a really cool and unique aesthetic touch to my printer. But with that said, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to get access to more tutorials, designs, and resources, make sure to check out 3D Printing School with link down below in the description. This is an online community giving you access to more resources, especially if you want to learn how to design, print, and even sell your own 3D printable designs. So if you're curious about joining that community or even curious about learning more and expanding your skill set around 3D printing, you can find the link down below in the description or go to 3dprintingschool.com slash join to sign up. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.